you now know enough to be able to do some somewhat complicated calculations, but there are a few more things you'll need. One thing you'll need is what's called absolute referencing, and I'm also going to teach you a few more mathematical operations that you're going to find useful. So, I've made a column of numbers here, so imagine these are just some set of data points. And notice I'm putting labels on things. Now, of course, it doesn't really affect the functionality of your spreadsheet to put labels on things, but you really should put labels on things because it makes your spreadsheet more readable, both for you and for anyone else who wants to read it. I'm going to go further and I'm going to put my labels in bold. And now I'm going to calculate the mean of all these data points. Now there are at least two ways I could do that. There's actually an internal function within the spreadsheet. It's average. Now you see I've typed average and I've put an open parenthesis. This is a function. It needs input and what it usually expects as input is a cell or a group of cells. So I'm going to click and drag and you see that it's made a list of cells. That's a range. I can now click back in there and close my parentheses, and there's the average. But it's useful to know more basic functions as well, and one of the most basic functions that you use all the time is sum. So I'm going to calculate the mean using the sum function. We know that the mean is the sum of all the data points divided by the number of data points. I'm just going to manually enter 10 in because I know that's how many there are. There's actually a function you can use that will count the number of cells. And there we go, I've calculated the mean. Now, suppose I was on my way to calculating the standard deviation. Now, I can actually calculate it straight away because there's an internal function. But I want you to do it without using that internal function to practice using more basic functions. I'm going to put you a step of the way there. One of the first things you need to do to calculate a standard deviation is calculate all the deviations from the mean. So for example, here I'm going to put the deviation between this 5 and the mean. Now notice, if I, f if I copy that into these cells, that's not going to work. Think of why. See that hasn't worked, right? 3 is certainly not the deviation between 3 and 7.2, and of course it's because of the way referencing works. We want this cell to refer to A3, but we don't want it to refer to A17. We want it to refer to A16. And so we're in a situation where we want the relative referencing to work for these things that are referring to the x's, but we don't want to relative reference on the mean in A16. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to insert something. I'm going to click in here and I'm going to put a dollar sign just before the 16. Now, when I copy this, you can now see that all these cells are also referring to A16. The dollar sign locked the 16. By the way, if I copy this and paste it over here, you'll see that the A's turned into B's because of cell referencing. I could actually, it won't matter for this calculation, put dollar signs before the A's and now they are absolute. So if you put a dollar sign between, uh, before the column, the letter, it holds it fixed, and if you put a dollar sign before the number, which is the row, it holds that fixed when you copy and paste anywhere. In your spreadsheet, with the data you've been given, you're going to be asked to calculate a standard deviation, but you're going to be asked to do it without using the internal function. So you're going to have to build it out of more basic things. So 
you are allowed to use the basic mathematical operations, plus, minus, divided times. You're allowed to use sum. You're allowed to use exponentiation, which you should have found you do using the caret operator. And the last thing you're going to need is a square root. So I'll just note, if I put 16 here, I can find its square root, sqrt. There. Now you have everything you need to be able to build a standard deviation in your spreadsheet without using the internal standard deviation function. And I've sort of put you a step of the way there.